Uh, you were able to escape a couple jams early in the game. What was what did you have to do to get out of those spots? Um, just execute pitches. Um, Gary had a good feel for the lineup. Uh, he was pressing the right buttons, I guess, and um, just having to execute, let the defense work behind me. Um, so yeah, just um, was lucky to escape a couple of those by making some good pitches. So just always knowing that there's a way out with runners on base and just kind of slowing, slowing the game down and uh, making your pitches when, when you need to. Were there similarities in your approach tonight and what we saw from Dylan last night? Yeah, it was definitely fun to watch Dylan last night, have the ball moving all over the place. Um, so yeah, that was definitely helpful to kind of see um, where their lineup's at. Kind of, He was able to expose some holes and stuff like that that we were able to attack today. So yeah, it definitely builds a lot of confidence when you got a guy going out there and throwing the ball, ball like that right before you. When you, uh, when you faced Tim Anderson and that first time you threw him three sliders and you come up with the guys on base and you know that first pitch slider, I mean, what's the mindset when you're throwing a first pitch slider there? Um, having shown him so many times already. Yeah, I mean, just just trusting it that I'm going to be able to get it to that spot because it's a tough pitch to hit when I execute it. So just making sure I miss in the right location and um, really just executing that pitch and just trusting trusting what we're seeing, trusting what I'm feeling out there, all that. You might have noticed that the ball kind of flies out of this park. How cognizant are you of that on the mound, and how do you prevent it? I try not to worry about what the ball is doing in the air. My job is to prevent it from getting in the air regardless because um, once it get, gets up there, it's out of my control. So um, that didn't really uh, really factor into the game plan at all. What has the last you know, couple of weeks been like for you going down, coming back up, whatever, trying to prepare you know, for your starts while also kind of traveling and, and being in transit and whatnot? Yeah, it's been it's been a busy couple of weeks, but um, after the last time I threw in Cleveland, Rocco said just stay ready, and that's kind of the approach I kind of have to take. I just have to be ready whenever the opportunity comes, and that's kind of how it's been all year this year. So um, definitely learning how to be adaptable and flexible um, with my routine, but um, yeah, just staying ready and continuing to get my work in, whether that's in St. Paul, whether that's here, and any any part of the United States really so yeah how, how difficult is that to keep ready especially you know when you don't know when you're going to be pitching next and then you get thrown into a start like this yeah luckily I have uh, we have a great support staff here uh, at the major league level and at the AAA level um, so they've been super accommodating and um, have really been available for me and like um, have helped me get all my work in um, so I feel like I'm in a really good spot where I'm kind of keyed in and dialed in to what I'm doing on a daily basis. Um, so I just got to keep my head down and keep working and just stay in that routine and just kind of kind of try and string some starts together. When did you find out that you were starting today? Uh, th around 3.30 yesterday. Okay. So I was getting, getting about getting ready for my start in St. Paul and I kind of got the call so I wasn't was able to kind of prepare and was able to fly in last night as opposed to this morning, which was definitely a plus. So I was well rested and ready to go. Were you here to watch Dylan pitch? Uh, no, I didn't get in until uh, 9 or 10 last night. Is that less time than usual to prepare your plan against the White Sox lineup in particular? No, I was able to do some research or some prep work last night and this morning, so I felt really well prepared. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good to get it in. What's it like for your parents now? Is it still a thrill to say I'm going to the big leagues when it's twice a month? I think so. I think they still get excited every time I uh, call them. My dad was my first text yesterday after I found out. So he was uh, he was at a 4th, 4th of July barbecue and he was pumped up. So. But they don't drop everything and fly here. Uh, they've been to a couple starts. He uh, drove up to the Cleveland one last time out. So. Um, yeah, they've been uh, they've kind of been my good luck charm. The past few times they they've come out, I've thrown the ball well. So um, it was nice to do it with, uh, without them here tonight. So and what, uh, what's it say about you guys to go from sort of the lows of the Cleveland series to here you are a week later, taking the first two of this and you know after a winning series of Baltimore? Yeah, I mean you see we get walked off a couple times in Cleveland and walk the Orioles off at home. So it's just baseball. Uh, you got to kind of deal with the highs and lows and all that stuff. It's a long season, so um, just kind of block out the noise, keep your head down. We're playing good baseball. We have a good group, have a good team, and just got to keep working hard and uh, keep executing our game plan.